just want to have a quick uh, word about a two camera setup on Zoom. Now normally with Zoom what you do is you use your webcam which is what I'm doing at the moment but what you can also do is you can use the camera on your iPhone and connect either the iPhone via USB or on a Wi-Fi system. So you need an app for this and there are many available. I use one called Epoch Cam, which is E-P-O-C-C-A-M. And essentially what you do is you connect on the same Wi-Fi hub as your, as your computer and then you put that camera into a different view. And then when you come to change the camera, you've got two options. So if you um, go to the bottom of the Zoom page where it's got the little video camera and you click on it, you'll see that you've got your webcam and then you've got the other one. So if I click on that, you can see me from the side, which is where I've got my webcam set up. So why would this be an advantage? Well, Sometimes you don't necessarily want to get up and move around or other times it may be that it's not, you know, not convenient to move the camera. And there is a shortcut uh, to moving this. So on Zoom, it's Alt and N, the letter N, and that swaps you around from camera to camera. So I'm talking to you in my webcam at the moment, and now it's on my iPhone to the side, and I can swap that back. So, for example, if I'm with a patient and I say, well, I want to do a head retraction movement, and I say, well, what you're going to do is tuck your chin in, you can see that from the front, but it's not particularly clear. And I could easily just sort of turn myself around. But if I can simply flick around and say, well, when you're doing that head retraction, you can see the upper cervical spine is opening up as I do that movement. And if we look from the front, as I do that, you can see that I'm giving myself the appearance of a double chin. So that's an example of a simple two camera uh, setup used on Zoom.